This is the S&P 500 Spider ETF SPY one day reading for June 25th, 2024. It's currently May 21st, 2024, 8.41 p.m. Eastern time. SPY at the time of this reading, $531.36. That's USD. The shuffle video for the 25th was created on May 2nd, 2024 at 11.34 p.m. Eastern time. That's a video playing for you in the lower left corner. The overall theme of behavior for SPY, we have an unexpected move to the upside that'll stand out on a multi-day scale. Behavior around the highest side, we have a prominent move through key resistance. We stay above it briefly and then break back down through that same price level shortly thereafter. Usually when you see the abundance card, it's a new, with some sort of significant high, like it's a new high, a new all-time high, like a new high after making lows, things like that. Uh, behavior around the lowest low for the day, we have the death card indicating an important trough probably a sharp drop into the low, but, but very, very likely uh, an important trough on a multi-day scale highlighted here on the 25th. I'm advised to trade around notable price swings. Now, before I get into the hour by hour chart behavior, as well as timing the highs and the lows and the best trade opportunities, I just want to make sure you're aware. The whole purpose of the channel is to transmute some of the competitive energy of the stock market into goodwill. We do that by following the rule of karma for the channel. You go to the resources tab of our website, Tarot for Traders, and 5% of the profits from every profitable trade utilizing this information should be donated forward to one of these charities, or pick a charity of your choosing, as long as you're paying 5% forward, and then 5% should be sent back to the channel through one of these links. If you're international, you can use Wise or you can use YouTube tips. And that leaves you at 90%. Make sure to spend that 90% out of love. As long as you follow those rules, you follow the rule of karma for the channel, the universe considers you an angel investor. It's going to send it back to you tenfold for following through. Blessings to all my angel investors. Let's get back into it. In the pre-market, we have a lot of volatility. Usually when you see the prints of, of source, there's a lot of price change and there's definitely a lot of volatility. We also have an unexpected move to the upside there. So probably like a change in direction. Um, right, at the, right at the open, we have a prominent move up higher through key resistance. We stay above it briefly, then break back down with a full retracement. And then a rally out of the open gets us into an overbought crest that we sell off from through multiple support levels into some sideways rotation between roughly 10 and 11. That sideways rotation uh, is followed by a fast sudden fire and then more sideways rotation uh, still within the ten, roughly 10 to 11 o'clock hour. However, from that side, that higher level of sideways rotation, there's a decline into a, a day's low somewhere around 10, uh, somewhere around 11 o'clock, somewhere between 11 and 12, probably closer to 11 and 12. There's a trade opportunity there. We could open up a long position in the midst of that uh, decline. I'm not sure. I don't think I would open up a long position here. This is a, this trade looks a little tricky to me because it looks overall bullish here uh, from the theme standpoint. But when we look at the one month, the Princess of Wands, yeah, it's a little tricky here based on the price swinging going on. But likely what you could do is if you open up a short position in the midst of the rally here right before the close, or a short position here in the midst of this move to the upside before two o'clock, but close that short position here at this low, which is right, right around 11 o'clock. Yeah, this trade's pretty difficult. We'll have to see how it goes. I would say check out the live. When, when it's June 25th, check out our, our live. Or when it's June 24th, check out our live. We'll probably have more info for you on it. But these trades are very difficult. I don't want to misadvise here, so I'm just going to leave these alone. But we have bearish price swings midday and another overbought crest that we sell off from. Sharp drop somewhere between noon and 2 o'clock. And out of that sharp drop, we have a, a sideways fluctuating rally that precedes another decline. Decline taking place between 2 and 3 and taking us to a key support level uh, just before 3 o'clock. Uh, in the last hour, we do uh, three crisscrosses back and forth through the same price level. The third cross to the upside, usually confirming a bullish trend. Right at the close, we have a prominent move higher and then a full retracement. It looks like we'll probably have a test at breaking through a resistance level and it'll look like we're gonna break through. But instead we decline into the post market into a low. Sneak preview for the following day, even in the face of seemingly overwhelmingly negative sharp behavior, there's still a notable move to the upside unexpectedly. And that's SPY for June 25th, 2024, my friends. Let me know what you think by hitting that like button. As always, make sure to follow that rule of karma. Blessings to all my angel investors. I'll see you guys on the next